tutorial you will see what is secondary login also known as run as command on windows server 2003 environment by tech.ptechrist.com first let's see some details Now let's log on to a server with user rights. Let's type the username and the password. Now, on our previous tutorial, we have told teach you that uh, how to create a shortcut for a particular software or a particular command. Now. These are the shortcuts we have cre created on our previous tutorial. Now let's see how run as command works. First let's open add and remove. Remember this is a client machine and we have logged on with the client username and password. Now let's try to remove this software with the user privileges. Now let's it's showing you are logged on with the user on this computer if you want if you are uninstalling this program while another program is running there might be some uninstallation ok let's continue now it's showing this installation cannot be uninstalled by a user with administrative privileges that means we cannot remove this this software without administrative privileges now let's use run as command right click and click run as as you can see the secondary logon the run as window has opened now let's select the second option as you can see it is showing the server name and the administrator name we only have to type the administrator password as you can see the add and remove program has been opened with the administrative rights now let's try to delete this remove this software continue now as you can see you are sure you want to completely remove this particular software yes yes this particular software has been successfully removed from this computer so have you have seen how run as command works let's see another demonstration of computer management let's open computer management with user right first on the computer management let's see select disk defragment let's try to defragment as you can see everything is hidden that means I cannot defragment this with user privileges now let's see device manager as you can see it is, sh it is sh showing you do not have a sufficient security privileges to uninstall the device or change any device that means I cannot do anything with user rights now let's use run as command right click run as Se choose the second button select the server and the administrator and then type the username then ok now the computer management has been open and it is open by administrative rights now let's see what happens when I click on defragment this defragment now as you can see this defragment is open successfully and I can defragment any drive which I want 
let's defragment f drive first analyze as you can see defragment is completed for this that means i have successfully defragmented this drive now let's see compute device manager as you can see i can now very easily uninstall or install any device or disable any device which i want because i am having uh, administrative rights right now let's uninstall this floppy as you can see i have successfully uninstalled the floppy drive now let's see another example let's say i want to create a user this is a da now i open active directory user and computers via shortcut now let's try to create a user from a user having a user rights as you can see there is no option for creating a user here now let's use run as command type the password of administrator enter now the active directory user and computers has been opened via administrative rights now as you can see new user icon has been came now i can create new user very easily you can also open windows explorer via run as command to open windows explorer with run as command right click on internet explorer click on run as select the second option type the password now this is the internal explorer 6 which is open with the run as command now let's go to the windows explorer to go to the windows explorer you can just select the drive from here as you can see the windows explorer has been open with administrative rights now let's create some folder on the dri drive as you can see i can change any permission i can add any user give them permission thank you for watching this tutorial Don't forget to watch our next tutorial which will be very informative for you. Thank you.